In the world of accounting, debits must equal credits. In the following slides, we are going to analyze some transactions so that you can see how this works. In this first transaction, the company purchases $200 of supplies from Packham products to be paid for later. The first task is to decide which accounts will be affected. If purchased supplies, so it will be the supplies accounts, we are paying for this product later. As soon as you see paid for later, you know that this is an accounts payable. Since we have purchased supplies, this means that we will debit supplies account. Credit entry for this transaction will be to accounts payable pack and products for 200. Notice that there is a $200 debit and a $200 credit. Quite often when we're analyzing transactions, we like to see how it affects cash. In this transaction, we are paying Dini Brothers $500, so cash is going to go down because we are paying out cash. So therefore, the cash account will be credited $500. Paying the $500 to Dini Brothers, we have reduced the liability to that account. Liabilities are reduced on the debit side. So therefore, there will be a $500 debit entry to balance this transaction. In this transaction, R. Van Loon is paying money to the company to reduce her debt. So therefore, we are using two asset accounts. Again, think in terms of cash. We have received cash, so therefore, cash will go up $200. Cash increases on the debit side. So therefore, it is a debit entry of $200. Accounts receivable is decreased by $200. Asset accounts decrease on the credit side. So therefore, you will have a credit entry of $200. In this transaction, customer has paid $400 for a service. Cash is increased by $400. Because cash has come into the company, the value of the company has increased by $400. That means that the capital account increases by $400. Capital account is an equity account which increases on the credit side. So it will be credit entry $400. This transaction will be using more than two accounts. Truck cost $8,000 has been purchased. This means that the asset Truck account increases by $8,000. It would be a debit entry. We made a cash down payment of $2,500. This means cash has decreased by $2,500. That would be a credit $2,500. We owe the remainder of the amount to any Brothers. So $5,500 is a credit entry accounts payable to Brothers. You will notice that 8,000 equals 2,500 is 5,500. The account balances debits equal credits. A delivery service is provided for R. Van Loon, a customer, at the price of $350. The customer agrees to pay within 60 days. When a customer agrees to pay later, that is automatically an accounts receivable. Accounts receivable, an asset account, increases on the debit side. You have a debit entry of $350. Because cash is coming into the business, even though it is in 60 days, the value of the business has increased by $350. So the capital account, equity account, increases on the credit side will be increased by $350. Analyze this transaction in terms of cash. Cash goes down $650 because we've spent it. So therefore, cash and asset increases on the credit side. There will be a credit entry of $650. Because we've had to spend cash, the value of the business decreases by $650. The capital account decreases on the debit side. We'll have a debit entry of $650. You will notice that in all of the transactions that we have looked at, debits have to equal credits. This is to keep the account e 
equation, assets equals liability plus owner's equity in balance.